Okay, and we are on our way for this semi-final match between Sam and Charles. Sam is using his blue, white, black, red aggro and Charles is using his pink winnie with splash blue. So Sam did a, a call first turn with Tundra and Soul Ring. Taps to white mana to cast Order of Late Burr. While the Savannah Lines of Charles is on the opposite side. Then as you can see here. He has a few creatures in his hand and Sam has a few burns in his hand. As I can see there's a chain lightning there, a disenchant and a lightning bolt with one strip mine in hand. Then Charles bolted the late burr. Here we cast Javelin ears. Sam plays a plateau. Well, this match is uh, basically um, it's like a mirror, but Charles is playing an empowered deck, and he won the mystery prize, which is booster packs of War of the Sparks. So the Javelinus goes for one damage and it's Sam's turn right now. He draws a plow. I think he won't plow the Javelinus. Oh, he just did a disenchant on the soul ring. Tapping plateau and killing one of the Javelinus. I didn't expect they'll do that, but he has no creatures on his board, so might as well kill one creature. White Knight for Charles. Sam is thinking if he's gonna plow the White Knight, but draws a maze of it, which is a good top deck. Can maze the White Knight. Then we'll still go for the attack. Then he did plow it. Up two for Charles. Disenchant the Mox Pro. <clears throat> Amazing the Javelin Ears. Preventing that one damage. Draws another Disenchant, which he has nothing to Disenchant with. A dead card as of the moment. And draws another land. Surrendib and Javelinius for the attack. Then supposed to be that if we became untapped because of the mace attacking again, then it will goes. And tap it and javelin goes for one damage. Preacher for Charles. What did Charles draw? I don't I didn't see it, but maze again for this random. And Sam is down to eight. Casting his own surrender. I think he will put it back to his hand. He doesn't want to block the surrender because he will take one damage every upkeep, and Preacher is there. <coughs> Sam is down to four. And I think this will be a second game. Sam will be able to survive this so proceeding to the second game for a sideboard
This is uh, the 2019 Singapore Old School Tournament in Sanctuary Gaming in 313 Somerset, Saturday. It's a nice weather outside. And Kelvin Hoon using the deck is waiting for the winner of this match. He defeated Kaiser using the deck also in the semis. So they're just doing their sideboards right now. So I will be back to commentate after they do the sideboard. And I'm back. <coughs> uh, both players are taking their time to side in the cards from their sideboard. Okay, so they're drawing their cards now, and Sam will go first on this, playing a strip mine. Playing a strip for a strip. Sam drawing a Mox Jet, playing the Jet. And the pearl. And another strip mine. A planes there. And he passes the turn to Sam. Sam draws a ruby. Plays a plateau. Strips the white. Plays the ruby. He can cast the Sarah next turn. Taking one from the brass. Sarah is there. And we expect a plow. Up four. <coughs> Savannah lines deployed by Charles. 
and Sam bolts it didn't last long Sire Blast end of turn 14 goes to Charles then he draws a demonic casting demonic sure you see he gonna demonic for another creature a surrender an a call what will it be he's thinking of a balance what will it be I would go for a call here so that you can draw three more cards but he chose a different card which is not an a call which he chose time twister which is basically will give also Charles seven new cards in his hand and there goes the surrendib <coughs> And Surrender is exiled. He, I believe he will cast the Time Twister. And it resolves. So basically right now they're resolving the time twister and they're gonna draw seven new cards. So anything can happen here. If he was thinking about the balance, there was no advantage for the balance. Because the, the mana curve and the, the low cost creatures that Charles have, you can always cast after the balance. So, for me, I would get a call. But, you get to reshuffle all the cards from the graveyard again. Which is the plows that were deployed earlier. So, two chains for Sam. And Charles is down to 11. I see a lot of lands from Charles's hand, but I can't really see. He plays a planes, and I see one more bolt from Sam's hand. I guess he will bolt. Uh, I guess he will bolt until the end of turn, on the end of the turn of Charles. So Charles did strip the city of rest. <clears throat> and this enchant the sapphire so no blue source for now he doesn't really need a blue source in his hand I think he will deploy the Sarah or there's no Sarah it was a sword so okay so we'll just deploy the soaring and the white knight will get plowed plus two so 13 and 20 on either plateau he drew again the demonic but no blue source an acorn could have been a good card for demonic shooter then he will cast demonic well he demonic for this time Will it be balance or a mind twist? He has only one black source, so he cannot cast the mind twist this turn. He cannot decide what to get, but if it was me, I'll get the A call. Just in case I get the blue. Oh, he 
he has a city of brass. Good. And then he casts a call. Draw three cards. And the bolt is still there. Two lightning bolts. Then he expects six damage. He will now be down to seven if he does direct damage. So he's thinking about it. Then another late burr. Mm, he draws his own late burr. Puts down the late burr. I believe there's a mana drain in hand. Then Charles took out the blue source again. I think that's the the second strip mine in this game. Then disenchant the jet. No black source. So cannot mind twist. Sam drew a strip mine. Strips the volcanic. So Charles is um, thinking now at this point if he's gonna attack, which they will have an exchange maybe if Sam. Oh, so he does decide to attack. So the mana drain is active on Sam's hand with that black lotus. He draws a planes and he bolts <coughs> Charles. And he bolts Charles again down to six. Oh, and he has another lightning bolt in hand. Down to three. I could have like bolted if it was me I will, I will bolt the two creatures but well the surrender he just drew a surrender surrender deployed oh my god He cannot mana drain it because he used the lotus to cast it. The surrender. They now the exchange and the Sarah is down and this will be trouble for Sam. So the late bird and the Sarah will go through. Pumping the late boar for three. Late boar attacking for five. And Timmy is down. On the board. And the strip mine goes for for the tundra. And the late bird will go through. Plus the Sarah. Unless if Sam wants to block here, because if not, he's gonna be lethal. I believe next turn. I think he should block the late bird at this point of time. Then Charles will just do a first strike on it. Then he just took four from there. Nine minus four equals to five and Sam concedes. So yeah, Kelvin won this round and we'll see you in the next round.